Hello and welcome to Project Rome. My name is Terry White and let's go ahead and create some vector graphics. So I'm going to choose Create New. I'm just hovering over it and I'm going to switch over to my yoga template underneath brochures. I'll double click on it and that will open up our default yoga template which of course you can customize any way you want. And I just want to point out that there are two types of graphics in this template. And that's what we're going to work with today is one of those types. So the logo or the default logo is vector based. That means it's made out of mathematical lines and curves that you can go in and adjust and pick apart. Then we have a photo here, which of course you will replace with your own photo if you choose. And that photo is raster or pixel based. And luckily, Rome works with both types of graphics. However, for the purpose of this short video, we're going to work with vector first. So I'm going to switch over to my tools and I'm going to just go start with the selection tool, which allows me, of course, to move objects around. And then I'm going to move down to one of the shape tools. Now, when I click on the shape tool, I get the little fly out that I can go ahead and choose which shape that I want to begin with. So I have a rectangle tool, for example, that I can draw out a rectangle. And that rectangle will default to the last fill and stroke that I used. So I can go to my style and pick a different fill color if I want. I can go to my stroke and either pick a different stroke or say that it has no stroke. I can then, of course, draw other objects. And that's the whole point of vector is that you're not actually drawing with pixels. You're drawing with objects on top of other objects. So we'll fill this one with a different color. And we'll even go in and adjust the transparency of it. So we have transparency built into this tool to allow the objects to be see-through. Now the next thing I can also do is with the selection tool, I can of course click on any object. I can reshape any object. I can make it larger or smaller without changing the quality of it. And that's the beauty also of vector graphics. Now when I double click on this, I can access the actual individual points. The first time you double click, all the points will be selected. So if you just click off of it one time, then you can manipulate the individual points to reshape your objects. So I am now in this mode to where I can reshape or adjust any of the points or tangents. I can add additional points that I want to be able to reshape the object. And again, as with most things in Rome, when you have something selected, you have a little widget that allows you more options. So I can remove tangents, I can split tangents, I can add them in as well. Now last but not least, we also have additional vector tools like the vector brush. When I choose the vector brush tool, this is really cool. I can go in, choose the vector brush, I can choose a stroke that looks like I'm painting, but in actuality, it's still vector. So if we go back to the selection tool, I can double click on that and I can get to the individual points of it. So even though it's working like a paintbrush, you have the ability to go in and change the brush size, the color, the mode, and the type and shape. And again, all of this is still working with vectors. So you can click to add these one at a time, or you can add them as paint strokes. And again, they're resolution independent, so you can make them any size you want, any color you want, any stroke you want, any transparency you want, and you can even change the stacking order. So let's, for example, let's put this shape behind the other shape. We'll just use our flyout menu here. We'll go to arrange and we'll just say send to back. So that's a quick look at Rome and how to work with vector objects inside of Rome.